morning. You can see the pictures of, of our co-host up there who's going to be doing the talk today with his lovely bride. He got married recently. I couldn't make it out to the wedding. Uh, we have a gentleman who's just an astounding leader in the company. He spent some time in Aruba. Uh, me, him, and his dad, we hung out together. The three of us, like the three musketeers. I don't know which one I was, but we had a great time together hanging out and, and, and one of the corporate uh, uh, retreats that all the leadership goes on once a year. And it gives me a pleasure. Wait, before I get him on here, I want to say good morning to Mr. Anthony Dash. Good morning, Mr. Brian Brillian. Courtney Brooks, good seeing you. Mr. Curtis Evans from Crew, sir, good morning. Daryl Ranson out there in Nashville, thank you so much. Mr. David White, thank you so much. Mr. Von Templeton out in the uh, Memphis area. Mr. Dwight Williams out in Houston, Texas. Good morning, sir. Miss Joyce Brewer, thank you so much. Miss Patricia Bowman. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you today. Tomorrow we got another great call with uh, Mr. Gene Torelli, and on Friday we got Mr. Julian Lewis to round up our week. And don't forget, one o'clock and three o'clock, I'm on this doing a one through eight with the four horsemen. Hey, we got a great call lineup today, and this young man is an amazing young man, and I'm just so proud of him. He's got a couple of real estate offices doing great in real estate, but also saw the ACN opportunity and said, this makes a lot of sense. I could get residuals, I could get, uh, I could get leverage, and I could help a lot more people. And we have the same background in real estate. So without further ado, coming in from the East Coast, none other than Mr. Great Regional Vice President, Mr. Adam Roof. Sir, good morning. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. How are you? Sensational, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Doing good. I'm uh, honored to be invited on, the, uh, on your webinar here today. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You've got an amazing team. So you all have a, such an amazing leader there with Mr. Thomas. He's always been somebody I've looked up to and been an inspiration to me, a leader uh, to me in many ways, and uh, always seen what he's been doing, the people that he's been able to coach and the success that he's had in his organization. Some of the, uh, one of the most powerful downlines, I think in the entire world of multi-level marketing. So, you know, welcome everyone. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started if that's okay. Absolutely. All right. Um, so my, my name is uh, Adam Roop, and wow, hasn't this uh, world changed? You know, it just got flipped upside down and slammed right on the ground with this whole uh, epidemic that's happening and pandemic, epidemic, whatever you want to call it. But I um, never thought in my wildest dreams that a virus would just destroy the world and the economy. And I remember living through this in 2008 when the market crashed, when the real estate market crashed in 08. And I don't think this is gonna be as bad, it's not gonna last as long as that, but what we have to understand is the reality of what's happening. Um, we are so blessed uh, to be involved in an opportunity and have an opportunity like ACN to create financial freedom and financial relief, residual income. And when the market crashed, in 2008, just to give you a little background about myself, I got my real estate license when I was 19 years old. Um, I was uh, started to sell real estate when I was in college. I was not the average college kid. I, I didn't you know, really want a job. Um, I didn't want to work for, for someone or some company for the rest of my life. I wanted to be an entrepreneur and I didn't know that, um, but life changes, things change. The light bulb goes off and Got my license when I was 19, didn't have a lot of success. It took me over one year to sell my first house, um, but I never quit. I never gave up. I learned the industry. I studied. I learned marketing techniques. I learned from different people throughout the country, and I applied it in my local market. And by the time I was a senior in college, I owned four rental properties that I was renting out to other college students. And I was making over $250,000 as a senior in college. So I thought that, you know, I was going to become a millionaire in real estate, which I've made millions of dollars in real estate. I've done very well, but I got approached ACN when I was in college, when I was a senior. And back then, all we had was local and long distance home phone service. They started coming out with video phones. And I watched a broke college friend of mine get involved with ACN. His name was Cody Mackey. So Cody Mackey and I went to the same college. He introduced my roommate. I got introduced to ACN. I thought it was the most amazing business model I'd ever seen. I didn't know like anything like this existed. I, if somebody would have said that's a pyramid scheme, I wouldn't even know what that meant, right? So I was like the reddest apple 
out there. And Aaron Burt came, he drove over two hours and did a presentation. That's the first time I ever met Aaron Burt. And he started drawing circles on paper. And I said, wow, this, I just caught it. You know, it was just the right timing. It was the right timing. But at the same time, it was bad timing. So the company was not the company it is today. It was a much smaller company, one service. And I made the biggest mistake of my life, which I left the company to pursue real estate full time. I got into ECN, made some money, you know, quick money right away, but there was no real system. There was no real training. And I said, man, I can't get rich off a home phone service. I said, this is great. Um, but I didn't see the big picture. I didn't see the big vision. I was chasing the fast money. And a lot of times people get into companies like this and the reason they don't make money in ACN, some people, is because they don't have a big vision. You know, they let something stop them, a life issue or a challenge, you know, with what's happening with the coronavirus right now. You can either let this define you where this could be your biggest breakthrough, it could be your, a transformation in your life and your business, or you could let this virus and the economic condition win and, and, and freeze. You can freeze right now. We're seeing a lot of people do that, unfortunately. When this is a time that everybody should be out there hustling harder than ever, we're seeing a lot of people uh, freeze and are, are in, in fear. And I get it, you know, this is a lot of uncertain times, but we have an opportunity here that can change our life in ACN. So the biggest mistake I made was leaving the company. Here's what happened. They kept growing the business, Aaron and Cody. And I, I went to do real estate full time, started making a lot of money, had an agency of over 20 agents. I was like 22, 23 years old. And then 2008 hit out of nowhere, just like what's happening here in 2020. And when that happened, I almost declared bankruptcy. I was living paycheck to paycheck. I lived paycheck to paycheck for three to four years. And it was the worst time of my life. My dad got sick with Parkinson's disease in 2009 and was diagnosed with um, prostate cancer. And I knew it was because of the stress. I mean, just think about it. Everything that he built up his whole life and everything I was building up for those years, gone, just like that. And look at what's happening now. So I can relate to what's happening in 2020 because I went through this in 2008. And here's what I decided at that moment in my life. I said, I will never, I will never put my family through something like that ever again. I will never go through financial hardship like that. I will never let my money be controlled by another man, woman, job, or industry that I cannot control. And it was such um, uh, a lifestyle change because I was making great money. I had a great quote unquote job. I had a great real estate company, but then boom, the lights just went off and we were in survival mode. And at that point, I said, I've got to find a recessionary, recessionary proof business, a business that will not crash when the market crashes or the economy crashes. And so I watched two of my friends and here's what I'm gonna encourage you. Take this business seriously, work harder than you've ever worked because you don't wanna keep watching us grow years from now. That was the worst feeling of my life. I, I get sick just thinking about it today because if I would have stayed with ACM, I would have prepared myself through that financial uh, downturn. And do you know that from the last recession, there have been multi-millionaires created because of the last recession. And during times of extreme hardship, like we're in now, are the best times to build a business right now, especially something like ACN. Think about how lucky we are. Aren't we lucky that we didn't have to go out and rent um, office space or have a commercial building to do ACN? Aren't we glad we don't have hundreds or uh, people on our payroll you pay every single week? You know, we have a blessing with ACN. So you have to understand what you have your hands on before we go into any training or strategy. Because if you don't understand what you have your hands on, no matter what I say today, no matter how motivated you get on these webinars, that doesn't mean anything if you don't take action. So you have to take action because ACN's awesome. 
we get to be around each other. Even now it's virtual, which I'm loving the virtual, by the way. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a challenge to learn it and, and get everybody on the same page. But I'm going to tell you what, ACN is only going to get bigger and stronger because of this. Because now we're utilizing this technology, you know, we don't have to maybe sometimes drive every night to a PBR or, you know, even though I'm going to still do those when the market comes back, but who likes the fact that we're able to implement both, you know, and ACN has changed. This game has changed. I told my team, I said, we are 100% virtual right now. You know, yes, we're all going to get together when this thing passes and we're going to celebrate and hug it out and you know, cry and laugh with each other and get back to normal. But I love that now we're going virtual with this company. So the thing I want to talk about, a couple things, right? I got like all these notes down, but you got to decide that you're going to be a leader in ACN because there is a ACN club and then there's an ACN crew. And the club, anyone can join the club. Anyone can pay their $199 or $25 a month and you have joined the ACN club. But we're looking for people, and ACN is looking for new faces. They're looking for people. Some of you on here right now could be the next trainer at the next international convention. You could be on stage, because they're looking for people that wanna take this thing off, that wanna put in the work, grind it out hard, and make it happen. And when I got into ACN, here was my mentality they're going to know who I am. They're going to know who I am. They couldn't even pronounce my name correctly, right? So no one could even, they didn't even know how to pronounce my, but I said, one day I'm going to work my butt off. They're going to know my name. I'm going to win those trips. I'm going to be on that stage. And I would watch RVP videos, SVP videos on YouTube. Every single day I would watch the promotions and everything. And I just visualize myself getting on that stage. You have to have a vision that's going to push you and motivate you. We talk about your why. My dad, me losing everything in the last recession was my why. That motivated me so much to help my dad get back everything that he lost, to help my dad financially. That pushed me. But what else, what, 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 what pushed me as well was having a vision of where my life was going to be if I put in the work, if I sacrifice, if I grinded it out, if I went through the nose, I went through the rejection, I went through people and friends and other business colleagues in the community laughing at me saying, oh, he's in one of those things. I said, it doesn't matter because I know what's on the other side of all that pain. I know what's on the other side of all that rejection. And I wanted what was on the other side of that. That pushed me. When a lot of times that stops people, that discourages people, I said, man, let that fuel my fire. When people told me no, I let the no's motivate me. I let, the, I let the no's, I let the people that said this wouldn't work, I did it in spite of some of those people to prove that it would work. See, when I got in East, I was in a bad place financially. I was still in debt. It was 2011, December 23rd. Two days before Christmas, I took a two-week vacation after I signed up. Cody Mackey thought I was crazy. He's like, he didn't think I was going to come back and do ACN. I said, I'm going to be back in two weeks. Watch. Came back, and here's what I did. I made a list. And you, right now, I want you to write this down. You have to refresh your list right now. You have to pull your list out. Some of you can make a lot of money right now if you just go back and hit your list again here's why people that were not open 30 days ago are now open okay their mind is open people that said they would never do anything like this they're now may consider doing it but they're not going to reach out to you i don't care how many social media posts you post you might get lucky and have one or two people out of a thousand or ten thousand reach out to you you have to reach out to them this is the time to start reaching out to people and here's what i'm saying to people to 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 get back in touch with people i'm calling them up if they don't answer i'm sending them a text and all i'm doing is saying john it's adam look man you're on my list 
I'm giving you a call. I'm not trying to sell ACN. You know I'm in it. I'm not trying to sell it. But here's what I'm, here's what I'm calling you for. John, you know what we're going through. I state the obvious. I want you to put that. State the obvious. I do it because I feel that it opens people's minds up. And I tell them, I say, John, look, I'm calling you. You know what's going on right now. This is absolutely crazy. I can't believe it. A lot of my friends are getting hurt. They're getting crushed. Some of my friends are out of work. They're out of their business is getting crushed right now. It's, it's, it's sad, man. Who would have ever thought that this thing would be where it is today and hurting the economy? John, look, I know I reached out to you months or years ago, and I'm not trying to sell ACN to you. But John, are you open to looking at this thing again? John, we can help a lot of people. When most companies are closing, when most jobs are being laid off, when most people are, are losing their jobs, we're growing, John. We're, we're making money through this. We're not shutting down. This is, people are joining. And look, I know you may not have been open in the past, but John, has anything changed? Would you be open, John, for 30 minutes, if I, if I, can get you on a webinar that we're doing, will you get on? Will you do that? John, I'm going to tell you what, man. I never thought I would do ACN either. Trust me. I was the real estate guy. Never thought I would do this. But John, will you give me 30 minutes and at least look at it again? And if it's not for you, if it's not something you still don't want to do, John, then maybe you'll think of someone that it could help, that we could help right now. Will you at least do that? Will you at least do that for me? See, that's my script now. Asking, asking John how he's doing. John, how are you affected by this, man? What's going on in your life? Are you okay? Because right now, we have to come off of empathy. We have to talk from the heart, not from our bank accounts. Look, this has changed, okay? ACN, some of the biggest years in ACN were through the last recession. Do you know that? <laughs> I mean, hyper growth, hyper growth through the last recession. And that can happen here for you and your business right here. But we have to go off of the, I'm, I'm just trying to help John. Look, this is not about the money. I'm reaching out. I know we can help people. Because when you come off of, this isn't selling ACN. I've been you know, seeing a lot of people. I've been watching videos. You cannot be out there trying to sell ACN. You have to come off the, look, we're helping people. Who do you know that needs help? Who do you know out there that lost their job? Who do you know out there that's looking to diversify their income? I have something that we may be able to help them with. If you know anybody looking, see, we're selling without selling. We're not selling hard. We're, we're, we're selling on empathy. We're selling on, we're trying to help people. This is not the time to be pushing ACN down people's throats and trying to sell ACN. Just go off of, I'm trying to help. Look, like I said before, you have to decide if you're going to be in the club or you're going to be in the crew because the definition of a leader, and this is who we're looking for, and if you want to make big money, you have to be a leader. The definition of a leader in ACN are people who produce without you having to tell them to produce. That is a definition of an ACN leader. So we are looking for people that are going to step up and go run their businesses like a real business. Now, you have great help. You have training. There's so much training in ACN, okay, that it could be distracting sometimes because there's so much going on. But you have to decide, am I a leader? Am I producing without the help of my upline? Here's why. Because you already have so much help. You already know what to do. We get paid to talk to people about saving money. We get paid to talk to people about making money. That's all we do in ACN. We get paid to talk to people. So if you're not talking to people right now, that means you're not probably making money or you could be making much more. So you've got to write a list. And you've got to go back and hit that list. If I were you, now I'm an RVP, okay? Al is an RVP. Our schedules are different than somebody that's an ETL or an RD. 
Why? Because we're on a lot of these. My day is like six webinars to help my team. Now, in, in between that, I'm still reaching out to people. But here's, if I was a new person or an ETL, I would choose a webinar or training, one a day, one a night. But I would be having my own personal private webinars. Here's what we're doing in our team. Every new person is having two to three private webinars within 72 hours, three to five days, very fast. These are happening very fast, two or three webinars. We're, going to, we're doing one every other day for new people. Okay, and we're keeping the webinars going. So when somebody does their second or their third, we're gonna set up another one before that webinar is over. And the reason we're doing private webinars is because it's more intimate. Then we have the second look, which is our team webinar at 7.30 p.m. at night. Now this is our team, you and Al and your teams, but you need to have a team webinar, which is daily. I think I saw you guys are doing daily team webinars. But if you really want to get your new business partners, and if you're new, you really want to get private webinars. Now, here's what I would encourage everybody to do. Every one of you on here should set up one to two private webinars for yourself. It doesn't matter how long you've been in ACN. It doesn't matter if you're an RVP or an RD. You get your upline to set up a private webinar for you where you hit your list and try to load up that webinar. At the end of the webinar, okay, you do it just like a PBR. You know, we used to do these in face-to-face. In -face. At the end of the webinar, here's what we're doing. We are saying, hey, thank you all for getting on. You know, I'm gonna let uh, Natasha, I'm gonna let her say a last couple words here and, you know, uh, bring her up. But here's what I wanna say to everyone. If you are only interested in supporting Natasha as a customer, and maybe you have to leave, you can't stay on longer, feel free to disconnect after Natasha talks. We'll give you a, a couple seconds to do that. But we are on this webinar today to find those of you that are ready and looking for a way to make money from home, and you're interested in making money and joining ACN. So for those of you that are interested in making money, we want you to stay on the webinar okay, after Natasha speaks. So once she's done talking, we'll go ahead and give everybody a couple of seconds to disconnect. Natasha will follow up with you privately. But for those of you that are interested in joining and making money, we want you to stay on just for a couple minutes so we can talk to each one of you. Now, the reason we're doing that at the end of the webinar is so we can sort, okay? We want people to get off that aren't interested. So I can see, we can see, who's on the webinar that is still interested in making money. So once Natasha gets done talking, then we'll go through that list and we'll say, Angela, Anthony, Bill, Brian, thank you for staying on. Uh, it means that you're interested in this business. Um, we're very uh, excited to have you join us and we we'll welcome you to the team now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have Natasha, uh, she's got, Natasha, she's gonna call you uh, and three-way me in. Now, if Natasha is a seasoned vet, she might not need to three-way me in for everybody, right? But if it's a new business partner, I want to do three-way calls. Now, if there's one or two people on the webinar, we might open it up for a question or two. But if there's three, four, five, six people that have stayed on, I don't want someone that might have questions or be negative ruin everybody else. So it, here's the thing. It is taking a little bit more time. Yes, it is. It is. But we, we're not there face to face. So that's the hardest thing when we're getting people, closing people or getting people to join. We're not there where we can really, you know, gauge them and build that rapport face to face. So yes, it does take more time to do the three-way, but I'm talking about a two, three minute phone call where myself and Natasha will get on the phone with each person. And I am there, or Al, or whoever was the presenter, just giving that person the confidence to do it. We're basically edifying Natasha, and what you need to do as the host, so if Natasha's the host, she needs to tell that person to get in the ACM. See, it's not the speaker that is responsible for telling the people to do it. 
you as the host have the relationship with the person. So we are spending time coaching our team this, okay? It's taking more time because we can't do it in person. So preparing them for how this is gonna work, it's become very effective. Now here's what else we'll do. If we know we have a red apple, somebody that really wants to sign up, we'll say, hey, uh, let's say Angelina. Angelina, let's go ahead and get this started. You ready to make this happen? Natasha's saying, Angelina, girl, let's do this. Come on, you're in, right? You're in. Natasha's the one pushing it because Natasha has the relationship. You as the host have the relationship. You have to tell your people to get in. Because if I or our or the presenter is telling, we're, if we're pushing on your people, they're gonna think we're a jerk, right? We're, they're gonna think we're too pushy. But because you have the relationship, you're the closer. So a lot of times people are getting people on webinars, but they're not taking that extra step to really call that person back and say, let's do it now. Let's get in now. And here, you gotta make big, bold statements. Here's some things you need to say. Girl, get in this, you're gonna make money. Trust me, we're gonna make money. We got this. I'm, I'm telling you, get into this. This is the best thing we can do right now. You get in, we are gonna make money. We're gonna go after that $600 bonus right away and triple your money. So people need that reassurance that they're gonna have success. A lot of people don't join because they don't know if it's gonna work, they don't know how to do it. So you as the host have to be the person that pushes, gives them that friendly nudge to say, you gotta get in, let's go. Okay, you get that person to say, okay, you three-way us in or whatever, we're gonna send that, we're gonna tell that person, hey, go ahead and get back on that link to that webinar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen with that person, okay? You can also make them a co-host. If I make you a co-host, I, I can get access to your screen. Did you know that? So if you make someone a co-host, you can get access to their computer and you can go in and type everything. You can help them get on ACN Inc. You can pull up the contract. You can hit next. You can say, hey, what, how, do you, how do you spell your name? You can start typing their information in, okay? And then let them finish it, let them put their social, let them set up a password, and let them hit submit. So we are not doing this just over the phone. We're getting people back on a webinar and walking them through the sign-up process with them to make sure it gets done, okay? That's one thing that we've implemented that has been working very well for us. Okay, the other thing that you need to do, okay, is we're talking a lot about mindset when we're doing the webinars. Here's why. Because a lot of people think, or they're gonna start talking to people and calling people just like after PBRs. So we're saying things like, look, I know how you all feel, this is new, this was new for me, I had no experience in this. Matter of fact, when I went home, my mom told me ACN was a scam. And my mom told me not to do ACN. She said that I lost my money and I would never get it back. But you know what? I didn't listen to my mom because my mom always had a traditional job and you know she never knew how to create wealth or make money. So the reason we're saying that is because we're preparing people so when they go get rejected, they've remembered, hey, he was rejected too. So we are throwing in a little bit of mindset at the end or beginning of the webinar just to prepare those people watching because ACN can sound great, but they're starting to tell friends, they're starting to Google ACN right after the webinar. So we're doing a little bit of mindset, not a quick start training, but we are talking mindset and that friends or family members had rejected us and told us not to do it. Okay, the other thing is as a business owner, you have to set office hours in your ACN business. I want you to write that down. You have to, off, you have to set off office hours in your ACN business because at home, we're at home, there's a lot of distractions, right? I'm watching the news 
I'm watching a lot of stock market news, not the negative news. So I'm, that could be negative too, depending on what trades you're making. But I'm watching a lot of financial news. I want to, you know, I'm in the stock market, uh, you know, investing money right now. It feels like it's, you know, I don't have children yet. My wife is actually pregnant. We're expecting our first child in September. So pray for us. You know, I, I think it's a girl, so I'm, I'm screwed. But just playing women. I'm, I'm excited for a girl. They're say, we find out in May, so we don't know if it's a girl or, or guy, but um, I'm going to be happy no matter what. And here's the thing, though. So many distractions. If you have kids, maybe you still have a job, you know, the news, family members, just it's a crazy time mentally, right? Mentally, we're all kind of messed up over this, right? Because we, we, I don't know if, you know, it's kind of creeping in, you know, the government's sending everybody money. And so this is a child, it, it is a hard time. So what you need to do is be disciplined more than ever before. You have to set daily operational hours in your ACN business, and you have to get on a schedule for yourself. So you know when the team webinars are, you know when you're setting up your webinar, or maybe you're doing a webinar for your team. Like every Monday through Friday, I do a one o'clock webinar for my team, but then I'm doing private webinars at four o'clock, six o'clock, and sometimes two o'clock, okay? So I'm filling my schedule right now, and that's something else you need to write down is you need to fill your schedule. Here's another tip. Your team will not call you to set up a PBR, P PBZ now, right? Private Business Zoom, PBZ. They will not call you. So guess what you have to do? You have to reach out to everyone active in your business and say, hey, we're setting a schedule. Here's what we're going to do. Get them motivated. Get them excited about what you're doing. And again, a leader is not waiting for your upline to do it. Guess what the leader has to do? You have to do it. That's who we're looking for. That's who you have to be is the leader. Maybe you have one person in your team. Maybe you have a hundred. You have to work with people that are working. We can all get distracted, right? There's a lot of people. Look for the people that are working. Love everybody. Call and check on everybody. But work with the people that are working. And you can identify those people because they're on webinars, they're on trainings, they're calling you, they're doing work. Those are the people you need to reach down to right now more than ever and say, hey, I got you. I'm going to run with you. Let's go ahead and I'm going to do a private uh, PZM for you. I want to go ahead and schedule a private P a PBR. So I wanted to talk about this. Why? Because... Number one, we talked about scripts. You know, what I'm doing is going back and hit my list. Number two, we talked about closing, being the host and being the one to tell people to get in, giving them that friendly push, telling them they're going to bring them that confidence. And then number three is becoming a leader and filling your schedule. Because there's so many distractions, we could get caught up in just sitting around, not thinking that we're doing ACN, but we're really not doing ACN. If I was trying to go to RD, or I was trying to go to ETL, or I was trying to go to RVP, I'd be reaching out to 50 to 100 people a day. And when I went to RVP, when I was running to RD, I would be calling about 50 to 60 people every two days. Now, this is when I had a full-time business, okay? And, uh, you know, was running that at the same time. But right now, you could be making 30 calls in a matter of in two hours, 30, 40 calls, 50 calls, you know, re don't leave a message, text them and say, Hey, John, it's Adam. I hope you're well. I thought about you the other day, wanted to reach out to you. Give me a call when you get this, want to see how you're doing and talk about things that we got going on. Shoot them a little text like that. A lot of people aren't even answering their phone calls right now. Right? So texts might have to be a way to, you know, reach out to them a little bit, but you've got to be disciplined and fill a schedule. Our team started filling our schedule about two weeks ago and we are, we are in production. Okay. Now we want to be in more. So we're, we're still having to learn techniques on closing and really working 
off of the webinars and doing three-way calls. We're having to spend time implementing that and training that. But this is the time to really get disciplined. So last thing I'll hit on, last thing, qualification ratios during this virus, okay? During what's happening. Here's what a lot of people that joined in end of February and March, right? Who, who had people that have now disappeared, right? I mean, when we say, man, we should, you should be working right now to make money, right? What a lot of people have done, like I said in the beginning, have froze. They've frozen in their, in their tracks. And mentally, they've given up. They're on vacation right now, right? But the leaders, the people that understand what's happening, we know that we have to keep pushing, keep working. So when somebody gets in, you have to launch them right away. Okay, that day, that night, you have to set up a time to launch them. Make sure you get them signed up. Make sure you get them in the system. And if they have some time to be launched right there, launch them right there. If they don't, you got to set up a time to launch them. And here's what you need to do. You need to help them set expectations up front. And you have to set higher expectations for these people. I'm not even talking three services. I'm talking five services in 24 hours, five services, and I'm going through with them every service that they have. And I'm getting them to write down every service that we have that's comparable or that they can get, like Vivint, ID Seal. I'm having them write it down. And I'm explaining to them, now look, you invested your 224, but that doesn't mean anything. What you need to do is invest in your business. So these are all the services we offer. These are the points. These are the services you have. And here's the bonus. So to get this bonus to pay back your 199, here's the services you can get. And I'm throwing in Vivint and I'm throwing in ID Seal. So I'm saying, look, you, do you have home security? No. Well, I'm going to encourage you today as your coach. Now, here's what I say. And I know I'm, I'm going to end here in five minutes. Here's what I, there's two things we say. Number one, right? Do you give me permission to be your coach and tell you what you need to do to make money as fast as possible? Do you give me permission to be your coach and tell you what to do? The reason I say that is because they're giving me permission. So when I tell them to do stuff, they've already agreed to listen, to do it. Number two, I say, do you want to walk, run, or sprint? Do you want to walk, run, or sprint? If they say, I want to sprint, here's what I say. No problem. All we're going to do, because you want to sprint, is we're going to set up three private Zoom webinars, and we're going to help you hit this bonus here in 24 to 48 hours. Now, if somebody says they want to walk, Okay, it doesn't matter if they say they want to sprint, run, or walk. Okay, no matter, because you want to walk, because you want to walk, I know we're, I don't want you going out there and calling everybody right now. I don't want you to, you know, post anything on Facebook. I don't want you to have to call 100 people at a time to get customers. All we're going to do is set up two private business Zoom webinars, and we're going to help you hit this bonus in the next 24 to 48 hours because you wanna walk. That's all we're gonna do. I know everything's crazy, I know you're busy, so just because you wanna walk, that's all we're gonna do. Now, that was the same thing as the person that wanted to sprint, right? So it doesn't matter, you're, you're, you're just going with what they wanna go with because maybe you're trying to get them to sprint and you don't even know if they wanna sprint. So you're talking about doing this and doing this and doing this and their head's exploding and then they don't do anything. So you've got to find out, do they wanna walk, run, or sprint? And you've gotta break this thing down, little baby steps at the beginning. Now, when you're on the webinar, if they say sprint, yes, I wanna invest, or yes, I wanna make this money right away, great. So here's what I'm gonna encourage you, here's the plan. So you write out a game plan, here's the plan. You can switch over TV, you can get energy, you can switch over your cell phone because you own that. So I'm talking about what they have. I will get to the webinar first. Okay, I'll get to the webinar. I want to try to get these people qualified right away. 
okay? Because they've already spent their money, right? And if they become a customer, if they get the services, then they're gonna be more motivated to go out there and tell people about ACN anyway. So I'm, I'm preparing them that we're gonna schedule, but I wanna to talk to get them qualified because if somebody's already paid the money, they're already in, you've done the work to get them in, don't you wanna get paid now that you've done the work? Okay, you put in that time. So we, we're talking about the services and I'm saying, look, here's what we're gonna do. So because I know you're ready to sprint, you're ready to make this happen, invest, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna call Vivint with you and let's go ahead and put Vivint on the speaker phone. Let's go ahead on your website. You see that 800 number there? Okay, go ahead and call Vivint. It's $49.99. Uh, do you want to get a camera, right? You know, if you want to get a camera, they're, what, five bucks extra a month for each camera. So let's go ahead and get Vivint on the phone. Okay, great, you did that. Okay, now let's go ahead and get you signed up with identity theft. I'm not asking them if they want to sign up with identity theft or, or, uh, or Vivint. Now, you know, if somebody's 18 years old or 19 years old, they might not be able to get Vivint, right? You got you to gotta kind of play your role here but you need to lead them into the buying decision. Because once they get these services, they're excited that they have them. But if you just don't tell them to do it, then they're just sitting back saying, well, if I wanna spend the money yet, I'll do it later. You know, this is urgency business now. Everything has to happen faster. One of my business partners said, at the speed of Zoom. At the speed of Zoom, this thing is now, ACN just got faster. Before, you might have been able to wait two or three days, five days to have a, a PBR. Not anymore. We're getting PBRs set up in 24 hours, 48 hours. Boom. Two or three PB, PZ, PBZs in three to five days. I mean, we're hitting it. This has got to work faster. Qualifications have to, have to happen right away. They, happen to have, they have to happen faster. So you guys got to speed up. This is the time to be on top of it. This is not the time to take a, a, a nap. This is the time to really be on top of your ACM business. So guys, I hope all that helped. Um, you know, I, I wanted to leave you with some strategy. And if you implement some of these, I know things are crazy right now, but this is an amazing opportunity for you and ACN to show off what we got and how we can help people make money. But we have to help people make money. We got to get people qualified. We got to set up these private Zoom webinars. Go back and hit your list. Get your team on some private webinars. They use the other team webinar as a second look. And you're going to have to spend time, okay, connecting and working with new IBOs, talking to new IBOs. It's going to take more time, but it's going to duplicate through your team. And as your team starts seeing you do it, as they start catching on, then they're going to start doing it and you won't have to be doing it. So put in the time. It's worth it. Put in the time now that we're all home. We have time, but schedule this in your, in your schedule and put in the extra time. That's all we need to do. We just need to put in some extra time right now. So Mr. Thomas, uh, I hope I hit on some things and if there's anything else you'd like me to say, but uh, I hope yes, this sir. Uh, everybody and thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Adam Rupp. Hey, you know what? This is so great. I know a lot of people have questions and they're popping up on my phone and everywhere else around here. Maybe we can have you come back next Wednesday for part two and do a sure. little bit of a Q&A. How's that? Would can, that work I for you? Yeah, I can do that. All right, so we'll have part two, everybody, and, next week. And here's what I want. I want. I want everybody to implement some of these things and over the next week and then come back with some feedback and questions, okay? on part two next next Wednesday. Matter of fact, I love the idea of refreshing, you know, I'm gonna highlight a few things you said real quick. Refresh your list, everybody. You know, and I love the part he says, look, are you open to look at ACN again? If I, if I, oh, I love that. If I can get you on a webinar, would you? See folks, this is, there's so much nuggets of wisdom here that they're building and how he's building his organization, especially, and we talked earlier today, I said, I want you to share with people what you guys are doing to build your team out there on the, on, the, on the East Coast and just put everything together. And I love the idea of 50 calls a day, you know, and, and I just want to share with you. I want to thank you for that. Now, real quickly, here's a commercial. Today at 1 o'clock Pacific Coast time, team call, 1 o'clock today, 1 o'clock today on this number, 1 o'clock, and also again today at 3 o'clock. 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock today on the call, 
And then I'm just doing another one tonight at 6 o'clock on this call. And then 6.30 tonight is going to be a leadership call, Ask Al for 30 minutes. So 1 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, everybody off. And then at 6.30, this leadership only, Ask Al, tonight on Wednesday night. Mr. Alan Rook, thank you so much, my friend. It's good seeing you. Look handsome and debonair as always. Congratulations. I hope it is a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I Me know. too. I'm I'm okay. Girl or boy. I'm ready. I, I remember I remember my first one was that was a was a daughter and I wanted a son because all guys want that, but I was so happy. And my blessing is it's healthy and we thank you for all you're doing. We'll see you next Wednesday, my friend, right here on the same bat channel, same bat station. That's a joke. But we want to thank you for all you're doing. Con continue success out there. God bless you. Tell you, give your wife a hug for me. Folks, you heard it right. You heard it right there from Mr. Alan Roop. Tomorrow morning, our guest speaker will be Mr. Dean Thoralli from Southern California on Friday, Mr. Julian Lewis and Mr. Alan Roop will be back next Wednesday. For, so Q&A and, and here again, implement because he's going to ask you, what did you learn and what did you do? Otherwise, he will not come back. I'm going to let you know that right now. So thank you so much, everybody. I'll see everybody in about uh, two hours, three hours. In about th almost three hours and fifteen, one, two, three, three hours and fifteen minutes back on here. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. Have a beautiful morning. Be safe and get people qualified, like he said. Thank you. Bye bye.